In today's video, I'll show you how to find crypto airdrops for yourself. People are making thousands of dollars with some of these. And in this video, I'll show you how to find these with some great potential. But to start, let's just firstly talk about what these airdrops are and why do they happen? Why do these protocols give away money for free, right? The best way to do this is with an example. And the example I want to use is Jito. Jito is a protocol that we were covering on this channel all the way back in September, right? And it's one of the largest liquid staking protocols on the Solana network. And basically, the reason that Jito gave an airdrop, and the reason that a lot of protocols give airdrops, is that when they launch, they don't necessarily have a token, right? Jito did. And eventually, when they do launch a token, some of it, maybe the largest portion of it is going to the team members, right? Then some of it is going to early investors. But oftentimes, they want to distribute some of these tokens to the community. And that's a good way to bootstrap marketing. It's a good way to build a community of users and supporters online. And also, it's a good way to get the tokens out there into distribution, right? So they're in the hands of people besides solely insiders, right? And so what Jito did was when they finally launched their token in December, they rewarded heavily people that had already been staking Solana through their platform. And you probably heard about it, but you can as well do some research about it. Jito gave out huge airdrops. There were people out there like getting 10, 15, 20K. It was just huge. So today's video, we're going to talk about how you can find the future airdrops. Not necessarily like this one, because this was like the perfect storm, but how you can find other applications with good potential. I've covered the airdrops a lot on this channel, but the saying is give a man a fish, feed him for a day, teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. So the point of today's video is to actually teach you how to fish and show you how you can go out and find some of these airdrop opportunities for yourself. So let's get into it. First website that we're gonna use, and I think this is probably the main one that you would use if you were trying to find airdrops, is DeFi Llama. I've talked about DeFi Llama dozens of times on this channel. I've many comprehensive guides on DeFi Llama as well. And what it does, it basically tracks stats for different DeFi applications. Maybe some of you have heard about it before, probably did. But what a lot of people don't know about is that DeFi Llama has airdrop section. You can see it over here on the left. It says airdrops, right? So if you click on it, this is what it does. This shows you all of the token list protocols out there. So these protocols that have users, they have deposits. However, they do not yet have a token. And you can see that some of these were just listed like a day ago. This was like 19 hours ago. And some of these are like way older, right? In fact, this is now listed by I mean, the filter is at listed ad. And this is absolutely the first place to start in looking for airdrops because these don't have tokens, all right? Some, if not most of these, will launch tokens eventually. And a lot of those ones that launch tokens are gonna do some sort of airdrop. Can't guarantee they will be like the same value as Jito. In fact, I don't know, I don't wanna tell, but just because Jito was like, as I've told you, perfect storm, not a lot of people were farming it, and it ended up being very valuable. However, that doesn't mean that they won't be worth something. And I think there are still some good opportunities out there. So, first thing that I would normally do is I would sort these by total value locked. So, TDL, that's the first thing I would do. This is going to show you the protocols with the most deposits. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can just see it better. So you can see the largest one is Agam Layer. As you can see, 11.8 billion. So this is by far the best one in terms of total value locked. And then of course it decreases from there. There is like a double-edged sword of when they have a lot of TVL. Firstly, this means they have a lot of users, right? But it also means that the protocol is likely more valuable. Things like Summerfy and Eigenlayer and Spark, these are being heavily farmed, almost guaranteed to do airdrops. And I think those are probably gonna be some of, 
if not the most valuable airdrops of this year. But another thing that you might consider, although it's not a necessity, is you might actually hide forked protocols. So this is the button here, to hide forked protocols. What this does, well, it just hides protocols that are from another protocol. And some of these forked protocols could do airdrops still. However, they tend to be more valuable if they're actually something unique that was launched with a new code base, right? Rather than just forking an existing protocol's code base. So, to narrow down your search, you might consider hiding fork protocols. Problem is, as you can see, right, there's a lot here. There are nearly a thousand protocols on here. And if you look at protocols that actually have, say, let's just say more than like a million in total value locked, well, that's like, let me just scroll down to see. It's, yeah, it's more than 300. I'm not going to go down there. So, just a million more than a 300 protocols and probably doesn't make sense to farm all of these. So how are you going to narrow down the best ones? Honestly, there's really two main things that I like to look for when I'm looking for protocols to farm. And Gito actually fulfilled several, which is a part of why it was such a lucrative airdrop. Now, the first thing you want to look for is protocols that have major backers and early investors all right and the reason for that is really simple and i think very logical if there are major vcs backing the project then it makes much more likely that they're going to launch some kind of a token and the reason for that is that those vcs those early investors they want to get some liquidity for their investment right at some point they want to be able to sell it right to cash out and because it's crypto right usually the way that protocols give liquidity to investors is by launching some sort of a token. And if you're buying a token on the open market, then it's, of course, sometimes a negative if they have major backers because they can sell and they can dump on you. But if you're getting an airdrop, it's actually a good thing because that basically puts you in the same seat as the early investors, where you have tokens that you got either at a, well, in your case, you're not paying for them right? You're just using the protocol. But in the case of the investors, they bought them at a lower price, but you're just using the protocol. You're getting tokens for free. And then you're the one who's going to actually going to be selling them on the open market. So that's the first thing I would look for. And in order to do that, you could just go to these protocols websites and just do research, right? For example, there's one protocol that I've covered on this channel before that I'm currently farming known as Prime Protocol. And all you got to do is to go over to their website. And what you can see here when we go to the Prime website is that they're backed up by Jump, Framework, and Arrington Capital. And honestly, the fact that they have those major investors early on especially investors who have in the past invested in protocols. You can also Google for these and you can just check it out. I mean, this doesn't guarantee the launch of a token, but it makes it much more likely, right? So that's the first thing I would look for on any one of these. And it's very easy to do. Anyone can do this. Just go and click on this, go to their main website, check out if they have those investors and research the investors themselves. All right. Second thing I would do is I would look if they have some kind of a points program, usually on Galaxy or somewhere. For example, Gito had that one, and that was the reason I farmed it so heavily. And what a points program actually is, well, it's just, let's say that protocol says, we don't have a token yet. However, we're going to create some sort of reward system to track your usage of the protocol. And while that doesn't guarantee an airdrop, First off, it's kind of sleazy if they do a points program and don't do an airdrop because how else are they planning on rewarding people, right? You know, you're basically saying we're tracking your usage of the protocol for some sort of future reward, which since this crypto kind of implies an airdrop, everyone views it that way, right? So that would be the second thing I would look for. And you can see that these top protocols by TVL actually do have a points program that's part of why they're so large. So these were the two things that I would always use. Firstly, go and see who is behind it all. And secondly, search for these points program. 
if you're looking for some shortcut i already did it with celestia i've got a few videos on it and basically celestia is really promising i'm farming it right now i'm just showing you some of these applications if you go over to explore the ecosystem there's a lot of applications building on top of celestia and the reason for that is that celestia is the first modular blockchain and you remember i talk about Gito a lot but one thing that i see as equivalent to Gito on the celestia ecosystem is this one this is milky way and it is the leading liquid staking provider for celestia ecosystem just like Gito was on the Solana ecosystem. So if they do release the token, and most crypto applications do, well, this could hold some really good value because it's gonna be the similar thing, just like Gito. All you gotta do is to stake some TIA tokens, that is Celestia tokens, through Milky Way. So you just go to the website, click on stake now, and also you can see down there that Milky Way is on this list as well. It's around 30 million in total value locked. As you can see, Milky Way Zone 31, it's liquid staking provider, and it is announced three months ago. So it's a good time. Maybe it can happen this year. That's it. As I've told you, do a lot of research. All right, it's all about the research. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you next time.